I wish I could turn this camera around because my best friend's being petty. But anyway, it's your girl, Lady Adri, um, with a quick video. It is holiday time and we know potlucks are coming up. Families aren't doing the whole shebang at one spot. So um, we know that you now have to bring a dish. As we get older, you have to bring a dish. So today I'm showing you how to make my candy yams. They're bomb, okay, bomb. You can tell them I helped you. You can tell them you did it yourself. Whatever the case, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Let me tell you what you'll need really quick. Of course, you'll need yams, sweet potatoes, whatever. Of course, there are certain types. I'm not gonna go into all of that, but I have some sweet potatoes. <clears throat> These are small, um, again, because this is just for this video. I usually get mine um, individually. I don't like to get the pack because they usually are smaller. I feel like when you do get them um, individually, they are bigger, but anyway so you'll need your yams you'll need white sugar you'll need brown sugar light or dark it doesn't matter you'll need vanilla and butter to take it up a notch you can put marshmallows on top um i have marshmallows today um but to take it up another notch you'll need i can't stand my best Anyway, to take it up another notch, you can add streusel. So this is like the same streusel I would do for apple crisp. So um, you'll then need flour and oats. And again, you'll need brown sugar for that, but we're already gonna be using that. So I'm gonna get in today by peeling the sweet potatoes. Um, you can use a potato peeler or a paring knife. I don't do that paring knife stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel these really quick and I'll be right back. I will say, Candied yams is definitely not for someone who is trying to watch their weight, watch what they eat, because all this ooey gooey goodness, honey, so much sugar, but it's oh so good. So if these were bigger, I would um, cut them in circles, but I think I'm gonna cut these in chunks just because they're not big. Well, let me see what, what happened. Well, I guess I can put them in circles. Um, I don't want to do them too thin. While you're cutting, just keep in mind um, to kind of cut them at the same thickness or around the same size so everything cooks evenly. This is gonna be the hardest part for me because I usually don't measure anything. I wait for the ancestors to tell me to stop and then I stop. The only um, thing I do want to measure is the water because sweet potatoes make, or yams, whatever, they make a lot of water already so you don't want to add too much water on top. I'm just gonna add some, again, like a tablespoon of water to coat the pan so they don't stick because when you want them when you want candy, any anything to candy, you need as less water as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some water in here. All right, so like I was saying, I barely measure anything. I wait till those ancestors tell me to stop and then I stop. Um, but I ended up adding um, two tablespoons of water. I added one cup of sugar and a half cup of brown sugar. It looks like I'm adding a cup because I didn't pack it down, so I basically filled what I could and then um, did like a half of that half cup. And then again, not measuring, so I did about 20 or so light shakes of cinnamon and about five shakes of nutmeg. Then when it came to the vanilla, I, let's say I added about a little less than a tablespoon, but a little more than a teaspoon. So whatever you figure out, what that is in between that's how much I added <laughs> all right then you're gonna stir them up um, and put a lid on it I kept mine on until they were about done um that was about 20 minutes or so I'm going to put a cover on but it's not going to be all the way you just want to leave it cracked my aunt Rose taught me how to um, just let some of the air seep out just so they can steam and they can cook all the way so we're gonna leave these on for a little bit and we'll be back 
Okay, so you guys remember the extra, extra step I was talking about? This is it. This is going to be the streusel I'm making, um, and I'm going to put it aside. But I added a cup of brown sugar, three-fourths flour, three-fourths oats. You want to add butter, um, it's one stick of butter in cubes. I didn't have stick butter. Why? I don't know, but it should always be in my kitchen, and I didn't have it, and I was very upset, but I just had spreadable butter. I went ahead and added some in there, um, but you want to do a stick of butter, and you're going to do um, a couple shakes of cinnamon and then a pinch of salt. Look at the way I dig this out of here. I was upset trying to bang that butter off of that spoon. Oh, I was so mad I didn't have that stick butter. But just, again, <laughs> mix it up and set it to the side. Okay, so we're checking on our yams. They're not done yet. You'll see as I pick up the uh, syrup, it's not quite thick. It's just running off of the spoon a little too quickly. But we're going to... Put the top back on, again, not all the way, and we'll be back. Okay, so this is more like it. You'll see how thick, look how thick it is. Ooh, wee. It's running off of the spoon a little more slow. That's what we want. You can actually cook it a little longer if you want, but mine were to the doneness that I like, so that's where we're gonna stop. Okay, y'all, so from here, you can either pour into your dish and serve it up, or, y'all see that? Oh, we. All that good syrup dripping. I wish my best friend would participate and be my cameraman. See, I could really see everything drip, but he's busy. He's doing homework. He's in med school. I'm done now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna spread. Here he comes. We're gonna, it's not on my face. We're gonna spread these out. <laughs> he wants to be petty. So we wanna spread these out. Again, if you want to stay right here, stay here, serve it up, you're done. If you want to go the extra mile, so that's true, so we made earlier, right? So this is, let me add a pinch. Could you give me the salt? My assistant's gonna get the salt. <laughs> I'm gonna add like a pinch of salt to this. A little more than a pinch. Um, so this is the brown sugar, the flour, the butter, um, and the oats. So I make a lot of it because I like it everywhere. So I'm gonna put a layer before the marshmallows and I'm gonna put a layer after the marshmallows. So, he, y'all, it's so petty. I do think I'm gonna put a glove on just so I can touch it. Oh, do you mind? Oh my God, it's in the other one. In the other cabinet, yeah. The tight thing. Just one. He's so, oh, oh. <laughs> I was about to compliment him and he's throwing stuff at me. <sighs> wow. So. I'm just put a glove on just so we can get this done a little faster. And I can kind of feel what I'm doing here. So I need one more assistant. Yeah. If you can. So we're gonna put that all up. It's y'all, this is gonna be so good. This is that extra, extra, extra step. Could you open those marshmallows for me? We're just gonna make sure that is everywhere. And the butter's kinda sticking to me a little bit. If I only had softened butter, we didn't have um, stick butter, why, I don't know. 
but um if you have stick butter that's better so you can cube it up put it in there and kind of mash it together because the soft butter is it's just sticking to my hand right now <clears throat> so he's gonna open up the marshmallows and you can use large marshmallows this is what i have on hand from our camping trip um when we made s'more so i just have these larger ones i think these are the medium ones actually so i'm not gonna do as many <laughs> because they're bigger but if i had the smaller ones i would definitely you know put a lot on there but i'm not gonna do a lot thank you um because they're larger so when that melts and everything that's gonna be bomb we're just gonna go ahead and put more of the shrusa on top of the marshmallow. So again, if you were just to put the yams in the dish, that's the first step you could serve it. Second step or the extra mile is putting the marshmallows on top. The extra extra step is putting the shrusa on it. I just love the shrusa directly on the yams, then the marshmallows in the middle, then more mar or more shrusa so bomb to me but you do not have to go that far all right so i put mine in the oven for about a half hour until it looks like this um just nice and golden brown on the top at 375. look at all that goodness look at the syrup just bubbling the marshmallows are nice and brown look at the layer Ooh wee. It's so, as Amanda would say, decadent. That is it, there you have it. It was super simple, super easy, super quick. Um, so the next family function or your potluck for Thanksgiving, Christmas, whatever the case, you're ready with some yams. If there's something um, that you're not able to conquer as far as a meal, make sure you leave it in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe. So if you've enjoyed my video today, make sure you let me know in the comments below. If you try this recipe, um, definitely let me know as well. Let me know how people liked it, how you like it. If you're posting it on any social media, uh, make sure you tag me at underscore Lady Adri. I hope you guys enjoy.